वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर वन हंड्रेड थर्टी एट देन सर has been made to introduce certain elements in the present constitution amendment bill but naturally other details and further elucidations are out of the purview of the present bill and therefore a new bill will have to be brought forward to the extent that it is necessary for incorporating these provisions in the meanwhile i would sure the house that government have made arrangements and will take steps for having interim advisory bodies etc so far as all these areas are concerned and then immediately in the next session or if that we were not possible in the session after the next an attempt would be made to place before this house a bill or bills for broadly carrying out the scheme especially the administrative scheme that i have explained to this house there will of course be in addition to these bodies so far as delhi is concerned a delhi development authority all these are necessary because delhi is the capital and all attempts have to be made to make delhi as model a city as possible now the next item with which this bill deals is known what as the safeguards for linguistic minorities now this would apply to all the states so far as this is concerned there are two or three aspects to this question one is that we are dealing only with linguistic minorities not any other minorities at all and we are generally following the line that has been laid down by the states reorganization commission the states reorganization commission rightly pointed out that even after the reorganization of states there would remain a large population speaking languages other than the territorial language of the particular state now so far as these people are concerned certain safeguards were considered essential in the first place we have to note that all the inhabitants in any part of india state or union territory are the citizens of india they have a common citizenship and the rights of common citizenship will naturally be available in all respects so far as the linguistic minorities in different parts are concerned but it is essential that 
as far as possible the interest of the linguistic minorities should be safeguarded to the extent that it is necessary the states reorganization commission have pointed out in this respect that after all these linguistic minorities are the citizens of india now sir so far as the states reorganization commission was concerned it was stated that as far as possible there ought to be no statutory safeguards as such except to the minimum extent and whatever it has stated has been accepted it was stated that in respect of the rights of the children of these linguistic minorities there ought to be a statutory provision and that they ought to be taught through the medium of their own mother tongue at the primary school level now that has been accepted as the house will find a new provision has been made in the bill so far as the secondary education stage is concerned and so far as the other questions are concerned the other questions are many as for example to what extent there should be the language of the minority as a medium of examination in middle schools and in colleges or whether it should also be a medium of administration in government offices now sir there is another question also which has been raised namely the question of domiciliary rules there are certain states where certain rules are made according to which it may be difficult for the non residents in that area to acquire certain rights in some cases very long periods have been laid down if i mistake not in one case 12 years residence was prescribed and that was considered rather inequitable as you are aware sir in this respect the constitution has stated that if for example there are any such rules which had the force of law at the time when the constitution was inaugurated then they would continue to have the force of law until parliament makes a law in respect that we are considering that aspect of the question also then sir the important question that has to be noted is that if we have a common citizenship then the question arises whether it would be open or it ought to be open to the various state governments to lay down certain rules which are likely to be complained of as discriminatory provisions so far as the accusation of property is concerned as so far as the admission to government services is concerned therefore sir the whole subject is under the consideration of the government of india and we are anxious to evolve certain provisions therefore sir coming back to the linguistic minorities 
what has been decided is this it was suggested that the governor should have the right of finding out the solution for this and giving property rights to all citizens in his state thank you